Hi guys. Well, I promised a video of some shadows. So that's what I'm going to do. I um, went ahead and put on my white primer from Morphe just to bring these out and make them pop a little bit more. Um, I'm looking a little bit orange, so I don't know if it's the um, Morphe bronzer that I use. Probably I went a little crazy. <laughs> or if it's my camera, so it's probably the palette. But um, anyway, um, I did the foundation and I did everything. I think it's what I'm going to do, though, is set a little bit more powder underneath my eye um, just in case fallout or you know this is tart translucent powder uh, the sharp tape I believe let's see what it is well you know me Yeah, shape tape. What did I say? Sharp tape. Anyway, that's what that is. I really do like this. I got this from a ColourPop, I believe. Or no, not ColourPop. My goodness. It's like 7.30 in the morning and I've been up since 2. So, I'm kind of over the coffee and getting tired. Um... Boxy charm. <laughs> so we'll put that there in case we need it. And I'm just going in with a brush, right? A blending brush right now. Got these brushes from Ipsy. I don't really know the name of them. They come in a set. And I also got some face brushes. Um, right now I'm going to go in gently. With this color right here and I'm gonna go slightly above the crease now with these um, these pastels it does take some building up but if you use that white primer it starts to bring it out fairly well. Now, I'm not an expert, and I'm not a makeup artist. I just like playing with shadows, and I have no rules. So, I will try this, and I will try that until I get the look that I want necessarily you know I mean something that I think um, looks good to me so you know just remember that when you're playing it's trial and error sometimes and if you don't like what you've got you've got a couple choices or what you end up with you can wash it all off and start over, or you can just continue to work with it. And a lot of times, I'll just continue to work with it. Um, now I'm going to go in with, let's see, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. And let's see what it does. Oh, yeah. See, that brings that yellow out. Oh, that's Raw Beauty Christie in the background. This is one of her uh, 
This isn't one of her current videos. It's one of her, um, I guess about a year, a year ago. I'm going to go ahead and bring that all the way, all the way in. Let me tap it off and bring it all the way in. No, you know, not everybody's going to like these colors. This is just something to, you know, have fun with. I'm not, you know, necessarily saying I would even go out with it um, unless it was, you know, I don't know, a big event or something to wear. You know, I wouldn't go out every day like this. But then again, you know, I'm 56 years old, so if I was younger, I probably would. Um, we don't really have an awful lot of dark colors in here. So, is what I am going to do. I don't want to go in really with a shimmer. Um, so, I'm going to probably, and I don't want to go in... Well, that's, that's a, um, like a jelly munch. This one is, like, it can be darkened. This is a shimmer. I think I'm gonna, I don't have an awful lot of choice. I'm gonna try to go in with this one up here. And I'm gonna grab a different brush. See if I can't find a packing brush. That's too big. I tell you what, I'm going to go in with an angle brush. I'm going to go in with this one. This is smudge. Oh, that's a smudge brush. But I'm going to go in with this smudge brush and just try to pack it on. You're not really, um, got any really darker, darker shades in here. It would have been nice if they would have put, you know, a, there's my nose running again. <laughs> At least one darker shade in here. But I'm just going to try to bring this through that crease. A lot of times with these pastels, you just got to keep working and building with them. And I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to bring it all the way through, round it off. But I'm going to leave this part right here as bare as I can. I'm bringing that green all the way through to the inner corner, but leaving this bare. I tell you, you start putting color on this face, and I'm like a fountain. Like a two-year-old in nursery school. My goodness. And we're going to pack it on. And bring it all the way through. Again, we're trying to leave some center just bare. Before we get into the first impressions, I want to let you guys know that I am 
a lot of times, like I said, you just gotta keep building and building. And your eye does get sore after a while. Right now I'm going to take a blending brush, a little thicker one, a fuzzy one, and I'm going to try to join them together. But see, when you're blending it, it becomes a little bit more subtle and a little bit more wearable. They're beautiful shades. Now that's what I'm going to do. There's a color in here that's kind of orangey. I'm going to dip into that. And just slightly go just a little bit above and bring it all the way through. Then, <laughs> I've got to decide whether I want to use this one or this one. So, I'm going to test them out. Oh, wow, look at that. My goodness. All right. <laughs> I guess that answered the question. So, we're just going to tap it. and see what we're working with. And uh, sometimes it's better with the fingers, sometimes it's better with the brush. The only thing with the finger is I can't see very well. So I'm going to get a brush and see what we can do. I can find the right brush to work with without nose running. Oh boy. Well, I guess I could use this one. Let's see what we're doing. Boy, I look like a lemon. That is for sure. Well, 
Well, it would have been nice if they would have at least put a darker green or something in there. That would have been pretty. Tell you what, let's go in with this. This jelly munch right here. Let's see what we can do with it. And that is exactly That's what I was saying, it's just trial and error, really. And see, you, you know, you get the look that you want. It certainly would have been pretty, though, with a... Um, darker green. Or like a hunter green. Sometimes it wants to work. And sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it was the same way when I was working with the, uh, the cloud on blue. I just had to keep working and working and working with that until I got the... Um, the, you know, the colors that I wanted. That's brush is just not packing it on right. So, I will try another. Pastels are just so hard to work with. Um, now, usually that that white base will bring it out, but it just is giving me problems tonight. Because this one's wanting to bunch up. It's wanting to uh, <clears throat> crease up on me. And it definitely shouldn't be. Now without that creep, that, um... Now this one isn't, this side isn't, so... This side isn't. But this side is, that makes no sense to me. So. Thought maybe there was a mirror under here. Ta-da! <laughs> Boy, this is a look. It certainly is. Now I'm just thinking. See, it's got this glitter in here, and I'm not crazy about glitters just because 
they can get in your eyes and stuff so much. Um, I just wish they had to put a darker color. And this one. I mean, it's a very pretty palette, but you definitely got to, you know, like to wear these pastel greens. Now, I like my, um, my Star Wars palette. I love that one. I like my mint palette. Um, but I believe both of those palettes it did have a... I got my finger caught in my hair. My hair I got left. Look at that. That's awful. But I got a bunch up here. Cut together. Um, I believe that they've got a darker, you know, greens in those. And that gives you something to work with. When you have a pastel palette and you're... You know, that's all there is, is light colors in it. Um, you can't really get in there and darken it up. Now, what you could do with this palette, you know, is have it work with another palette. And then you could get some really pretty looks if you bring in another palette, you know, work off of it with this one. Um, but I was trying to just bring this palette And on its own. So I think it's what I'm going to do now. Because I do have. If I can find what I did with it. I need a desk or something so badly. Not a desk, but a vanity. I have a pencil. You know the pencil I bought. And I thought I set it to the side of it here. There it is. Let's see how dark this is. You might be able to use. This. Even though it's a cream. Might be able to. Creams aren't the best to go over powder with, but take this blending brush and maybe able to give it a hint of darker, and, you know, make it a little bit darker in that corner. Might should have used a. Let me see if I can't find a crease brush. Somewhere I have one. Not that I'm organized, guys. At all. I know I have one. Try this. I got my favorite brushes in this little bag. Man, I wish my nose would quit running. Yes, that's better. See how that gave it some depth? See? And especially if you've got um, hooded eyes. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I know that's gross, but it's better to do this than have it run on camera. 
remember, and no, I don't have COVID. I just have allergies, that's all. Uh, remember, if you're needing a, um, to darken up a color or something, you could, I'm trying to see what I just did with the brush I had. My goodness, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Yes, that's it. That's like them socks, I'm telling you. Um, if you don't have the shadow, um, just grab it if you've got a pencil, a, a brown pencil, or any, you know, I like these, these cream, but they break very easily. Just, it's one thing about ColourPop, their pencils, they're good, but they break really easy. And you can use them to just darken something up if you don't have the colors. But I'm gonna bring that all the way to the outer corner and go underneath the eye here. And kind of join them. But you gotta remember they break really easy. That broke twice on me. They're cheap, you know, they're, they're pencils, but um, they break really, really easy. So let's see what we can do with this. I was trying to figure out, because I got a, uh, right now what I am recording on is an iPhone um, 11 Pro Max. And I was trying to figure out how to, um, pause and then unpause it. And I can't figure it out. It said that I had to install Video Cam Pro or something like that. So I tried that and that made me look so orange for some reason. And I was like, oh. And then I couldn't use my um, little remote button, you know with it um for my lighting it works my phone and uh so i i went ahead and uninstalled it but if anybody knows how in the world i can <laughs> pause or if, you know if they've got a program that they're using um, where they can pause and it's on, you know, their phone. I would certainly appreciate it if you could share it with me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just figuring all this stuff out, guys. I don't have a clue. So see how that's deepening it up a bit. Makes it look so much better. But I do think I want to clean this packing brush or crease brush and hit this color again and just try to bring this out a little bit more. I 
that's one thing when you're working with shadows. Sometimes everything just goes so smoothly. But the majority of the time it doesn't. <laughs> you don't get that lucky. At least I don't. And then you kind of watch Raw Beauty Christy and she's like, boom. You know, once in a while she'll run, she'll run into something, but she fixes it so quick, you don't even know she was, there was a problem. <laughs> and you're like, man, how in the world <laughs> does she do that? But I guess that's why she's where she's at. See, she's talking about um, ColourPop sh uh, Super Shock Shadows. That's what this is. But it wasn't that shocking, was it? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. At least I think so. Oh, then I'm just going to run what's left on the brush all the way to the eyebrow. And I'm going to run it in the inner corner and then just kind of blend it out here. So, next thing I is going to do um, is, let's see, we're at 32 minutes. So, I don't know how to pause this, and I don't want this video to be an extra long. So, um, is what I'm going to do is, if I can find it. Do this under I hope this one isn't dried out. No. This is an eyeliner black. And I'm not really sure who's from, I can't read it. But I'm gonna run this and stamp. And I always get it in my eye. I hate that. Under my eyelashes here. And bring it all the way to the inner corner. And I always get it in my eyeball. I don't talk during that because it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of ouch. Or it's not ouch, it just tickles. Okay, now what am I, I'm going to do is, um, get this bit, so I thought I had a, Yes, I do. A hunter green. And I am going to run that. Right on the outer corner. On the bottom. 
And sometimes if I get um, because of the eyeliner, if I get anything in the corners, in the corners, I'll just take a Q-tip, regular Q-tip, and run it on the inside. And clean that up. So it's what I'm going to do is take this pencil again. The one that keeps breaking on me. And I just ran it on the inner inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to probably shut this video down and it will be part one. And when um, I come back, I'll have my lashes on and then we'll finish up the face. Okay guys, see you in a bit.